Turn to your foldable on gravity, mass, and distance. We're going to take notes on how mass and distance affect gravity. Meet Sir Isaac Newton. He's the reason why we know about gravity. You may have recognized this picture. He's known for him sitting underneath the, an apple tree and the apple falling down. Apparently this is where he supposedly got his idea. Probably not true, but it's a fun story. After being hit on the head with the apple, it all became clear to Sir Isaac Newton. Isaac Newton first realized there was a force acting on objects. He said that the force pulling on the moon towards the earth is called gravity. Newton's law of universal gravitation states that every object in the universe is attracted to each other. Because of Earth's perfect relationship with the sun, we are being pulled towards our surface. We'll get into the reason why the sun is important a little later on. And for a little fun, here are some comics. These comics are about gravity. I bet no one thought about this for their slam dunk. And we've all been there before, where gravity attacks us in different ways. So here's a question. Why is gravity different in other places in our solar system? There are two reasons. Mass and distance. Strength of gravity depends on two things. Mass of an object is one. Mass is the amount of matter in an object. The measure of the force of gravity on an object is called weight. Now, mass doesn't change, but an object's weight can change depending on location. The more mass an object has, the more weight it will have. Take a look at these two pictures because one represents mass and the other represents weight. If you look at the picture, both the dog and the weight have the same mass. They have the same mass on Earth and they have the same mass on the moon. The amount of matter does not change. It stays the same on Earth and on the moon. Both objects' masses are both made up of the same amount of matter, which means their masses are the same. Now if you look at this picture, it's not showing mass, it's showing weight. Because if you look, on Earth, this guy weighs 100 pounds. But on the moon, he weighs 16.6. .6. It's the same guy, so that must mean he ha must have the same mass. But since he's at a different place in our solar system, the way the force of gravity acts on him is differently. So in thinking about this, which of these places has more mass and which of these places has less mass? Remember, these pictures are looking at different things. The first one is looking at mass. The second one is looking at weight. Gravity is also affected by another factor, which is the distance between two objects. The force of gravity decreases rapidly if the distance increases. So what that statement is saying is that the force of gravity between two objects is going to become much weaker 
as those two objects get farther and farther away. The force of gravity increases if the distance between the two objects decreases. All that statement is saying is that as the objects become closer together, the force between those two objects is going to become much greater. Under the first flap, you'll find a picture that talks about gravity, mass, and distance. The first picture shows two arrows pointing towards each other with two smaller spherical shapes. You need to fill in the arrows for the larger spherical shapes and the other set of smaller spherical shapes that are farther away. Use what you know from the notes you took under the other two flaps.